the moon has finally come out. How's it going fellow foodies? My name is Chef PK and today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own Mapo curry tofu noodles from Food Wars. This is a very interesting dish because it really shows Soma's love to stuff food into other food. It seems to be an ongoing theme and this dish really caught me by surprise. I never thought of doing this but I want to teach you guys how you can do this. So that being said let's get over to it. If you're excited to make a bunch of this Food Wars stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can come back for more. If you guys have been following along with the channel I did mention a super secret curry sauce we're gonna be using today for this moon meatball thing. And that is a very special curry I got from a good friend. She owns a Thai restaurant over in Vancouver and I would asked her to make me some really nice coconut curry. The reason why is because it is delicious but I also have two or three different curry videos you guys can follow along in the playlist. If you want to make your own curry go ahead and follow along with one of those videos and you can do the same techniques to make this. Or you can always just buy golden curry, add some water and gelatin and uh, call it a day. <laughs> So first thing is first, we need to make our gelatin spheres out of this curry. I'm gonna be using two cups of curry and two packets of gelatin. Measure out a half cup of your curry. We're gonna go ahead and heat this up before we add our gelatin to it to help it bloom. Blooming is a technique where you allow any of your product to really start to come together before you reintroduce it into your other liquids. The reason why you wanna do that is if you were to take any kind of gelatin like this and introduce it into cold product, it's not gonna mix properly. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add this to hot product, mix this into our cold curry, and then finally add that into into our mold, which I just bought about 10 minutes ago. Now that it looks like most of my gelatin has actually dissolved, I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my cold liquid next. Now that we have our curry ready to go, grab your mold and start pouring these into here. Now you have to remember, these won't cap out and they won't rise too hard, so you don't have to really worry about overfilling them. We're gonna take this whole thing and let it set in the freezer for about two hours. So here's most of the mise en place we're going to need for this mapo tofu. Green onions, ginger, cornstarch, stock, onion, garlic, tofu, and a lot of chilies. Szechuan peppercorns. Now that we have most of our mise en place ready to go, what we really need to do next is get our chilies ready. In Food Wars, the fourth seat makes an incredibly spicy mapo tofu. Yukihira, on the other hand, kind of goes for more mild balance, and I think that's what I'm gonna go for because I can't handle that much heat. Granted, we are using fresh Thai chilies out of my friend's garden, so I would definitely use a little bit of caution when cutting these and when eating these. Don't make it overly spicy because that's just not fun in and out. When we cut these beautiful fresh Thai chilies, please, please, please use gloves. Please use gloves. Don't touch yourself afterwards. Wash your hands. Don't do anything with your face and or your... I'm just warning you. I've made that mistake. So now we have our chilies and we have our Szechuan plus our fresh Thai chilies. Granted, it's not a lot of either because like I said, I can't really handle my spice all that much. Sorry, Sean Evans. I don't know if I could do that hot wing challenge with you right now. But next, what we have to focus on is the meatball. I'm unsure if you can hear to actually season the meatballs in any particular way, but I know they have to be well seasoned. So what I'm going to do for this meatball is actually season it with what I think is going to go best with the rest of the dish, namely soy sauce, poison, chili, salt, pepper, onion also going to add one egg to this mixture just because I feel like it may need a binder. We don't know what this tastes like. Take a little bit, sear it off, taste it for salt, taste it for pepper, taste it for seasoning. So 
I seared off a quick piece of this beef and I did char it up a little bit, but I just want to taste it for salt. Maybe a touch more salt and soy sauce and I think we're good to go. So now that we have all of our mise en place ready, really the only thing we're waiting on is for the curry to set. Now you may be asking, Paul, what about the noodles? To be honest, with the noodles, I did pick up a really nice pre-made noodle from my local market. Yes, you can make your own noodles, but there are really amazing options out there. So today we're going to be using some really nice fresh udon. I'm pretty excited because I just checked the curry and they are good to go. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cool. Hopefully this actually liquefies again once it heats up. So granted, since we did use a silicone mat for this, we're going to actually be able to pop these guys out, hopefully without any tearing. Let's pop them out and see what happens. Now these, these are pretty great. They have a nice consistency. I can already feel them slightly falling apart when I touch them, which does mean that they should melt very nicely. Now my friends over at Feast of Fiction actually did something very similar, but they had used a portion cup. So if you don't have access to a silicone mold, you could use something like that as well. I just know that I'm gonna use that silicone mold for some future projects. So I went ahead and spent the money on it. If not, use a small portion cup and you should be totally fine. But now we gotta wrap these bad boys. And I think I have an idea. So this technique is something that I actually learned while working in an Irish pub. It's when we made scotch eggs and that's what I'm gonna do to make these. Since this is very soft, I don't wanna have a chance of crushing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a portion of beef. You wanna make sure that these are very packed in. Take your thumb, start imprinting your mold. There it is, your lion's head meatball stuffed with a giant chunk of curry in it. You want to be super gentle with these because it feels like this curry isn't going to actually hold up very well if it comes into contact with heat, which is fine, which is what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these very quickly, put them in the fridge and let them set just a little bit longer so the beef actually gets cold again. So now we have the stage set and it's time to actually cook this thing. Remember, mapo tofu doesn't take a long time to actually finish. I have some water going in the back for my noodles. I have my set ready. I have the meatballs coming out of the fridge right now. We're gonna do our tofu in that guy. Then it's the plate up. First thing we're gonna do is actually sear off the beef to get that process going and then start caramelizing the onions, throw in your ginger as well as some of your peppers and set that to the side. Then you're actually gonna saute up the peppercorns and get that going, deglaze with stock, add your tofu and thicken it with a bit of slurry. Once it's all ready to go, you can add in your noodles and then finish off the meatball. Time to plate up. Mapo tofu, one of my favorite dishes and I am happy to recreate it, but I will say those curry stuffed meatballs are not the easiest thing to make. Let's see what it tastes like. The moon did not come out. Probably still delicious. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so good. Hold up. Trying not to get my jacket dirty. Oh, just the right amount of spice. <clears throat> just one peppercorns make your mouth numb. Makes your mouth water. The beef is actually cooked really nicely and you get the flavor. Look at the viscosity on that curry. I mean, come on. If you guys make this at home, try to freeze the curry just a little bit longer. I think I didn't wait long enough to start wrapping them and start searing it. But I will say this is phenomenal and this is my breakfast and I'm so happy about it. If you guys wanna check out more Food War stuff, check out the links below. Come back for more food videos where we try to recreate your favorite food from anime and video games. My name is Chef PK, here on Chef Paul Makes. Get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down all this right now, clean up this kitchen because I made a massive mess. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's so creamy, spicy. This is what the other meatballs look like. Don't worry. We're still gonna eat it.